from Google Classroom. We're clicking on intro to subtracting integers. And here's the Google slide that you are going to click on. It's nice that it puts your name right up in the top. All right. We are on slide 12. So these are algebra tiles right here. What's red mean? What does red mean and what does yellow mean, do you think, after working on the number lines yesterday? And what's red mean? Positive and negative. Which one's negative? The red ones. Okay, so they're, they're worth one. I want you to show me what three looks like. You can drag these over onto the mat. Okay, so show me what three adding negative four would look like. Set that up on the mat. What does three add negative four look like? All right, so what does three add negative four look like? Perfect. Yeah. Give me the whole problem. What does three look like? Put three on there. What does three negative four look like? Three. Which one represents positives? Yellow. And how many yellow do I need? So I put one, two, three. And then I need to put negative four. And I really like that you're doing this because this is how it needs to be done. You need to be lining them up with each other. One negative, two negatives, three negatives, and four negatives. You need to do that. That's very important in using algebra tiles because what does a yellow one and a red one represent? Do you remember what the word I used yesterday? Two words? What does a yellow and a red one do? If you don't remember what I called it, what does it do? What's a yellow and a red one do? They cancel each other out. There's a positive one and a negative one that cancel each other out. All right, so they're called zero pairs. Zero pairs. And what you do is you take this line and you're going to put it on it to show that they're canceled out. Those get canceled. Those get canceled. And what's left then? Negative ones. You come down here in the box, double click, and delete that out and put negative one. All right, here we go. Slide 13. Go ahead and represent slide 13. We're adding negative five and positive two. That's the question right now. How do I do this slide? I still use I would like to see what you're going to do for this problem. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to see what you have. Okay? This is when we would actually be working in groups and you guys would be talking to each other about what do you think you should do. Okay. Let's see. We've got one more person. Nobody's got the idea yet in this class. Oh, you guys all have the same thing. You guys all have the same thing. So, you guys all have the same thing. Nice try. So let's talk about when we're adding integers, right? When we were adding integers, what did we do when we were adding integers? We added four positive ones, and then we added four negative ones to the mat, right? That's adding. You're literally adding things. Are we adding on this problem? So should we be adding anything into the problem? What do we do then? If adding means to add, in tiles. What does subtracting mean? What does subtracting mean then? Take away. So you would start, your first start was good. You added four positives. One, two, three, four. You added four positives. That's true. And then what does it say to do? It says four, four, this mean? Four minus four. Take away what? What am I taking away? Two what? Two positives. It says four. Take away two positives. So how do I do that so that Mrs. Hall can correct my work? I had my four set up. Then I would come down here on the bottom and I'd put them down here away. That's showing that I had four originally and then I took two away. Then you write your answer in the box. So that's what it means to subtract, means to take away, not to add tiles. All right, the next problem. Let's see how you do on the next one. Remember, the more of these we get through, the less homework you have for me. All right, so the, the definition of subtraction. Let's talk about the definition of subtraction really quick. Ready, Nathan? 
and says subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. Subtracting positive 5, you guys watching up here? Subtracting positive 5 is the same thing as adding negative 5. It says subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. Subtracting positive 5 is exactly the same thing as adding the opposite of 5. So we're going to actually use both of these. Let's go to the next slide. What does it say? I want you to set up what 4 minus 2 looks like. Start with that only. And keep it on the left-hand side because we're going to have more algebra tiles on the right-hand side for this part. So keep 4 minus 2 on the left. What does 4 minus 2 look like? We just did that one. Yep, 4 minus 2. Then, over to the right, I want you to do 4 plus negative 2. How did we do adding integers? Good. Now you're going to go to the other side and show what does 4 plus negative 2 look, look like. Because that's the picture on the left for 4. And then taking away 2, we know that we took the 2 away and they were down here. Okay, that's what 4 minus 2 look like. We see what our final answer is. What does the picture look like for adding 4 plus negative 2? Does the picture look the same? No, it doesn't. Adding tiles means adding integers means you're adding tiles. Exactly. Almost. Finish it up. One last thing to finish up on that. Oh. Setup looks good. So everybody said, okay, I'm going to add 4 to this. And then I'm going to add to that negative 2. I'm adding negative 2. Adding tiles means you're adding in. Subtracting means you're taking away. And then the last thing was to put this on there, copy V so I don't have to go all the way down there. Copy and paste if you want to. What's our final answer? Are they the same? Zero pair. You need to know that definition word, OK? What, what are we left with? Two. Same answer, right? Two different pictures, though, isn't it? Did you ever think about add, adding and subtracting integers that way? Why don't we ever think about it that way? It adds a whole other concept to our brains and the way we think about mathematics. This is about your growth. This was about your growth mindset video. This is what it means to grow in maths. It said very clearly at the end that it's not about memorizing. It's about visualization. <laughs> It's about being able to see the math, not just about the algorithm. Here we go with the next one. Same idea. You're going to set it up. What does this look like? Hmm. What do we do? Are we adding integers or subtracting integers right now? Subtracting. We're subtracting. What does it mean to subtract integer? Am I adding tiles in or am I taking tiles out? I'm taking tiles out. Subtracting means to take away. So everybody started the same. They're like, okay. And then what do you do for, what does it mean to take away negative one? It means take away a negative one. And we put it down at the bottom to show that originally it was there and then I took it away. And you write your answer in the box. Three minus five. Ooh, this is good. Now we're getting into some good stuff. Yes. This is going to be good. This is testing your ability to think critically about mathematics. Wait for this slide. I gave you a definition word for a reason. I gave you a definition word, and I kept trying to say, we well, need to know this definition word because we use it. Let's see if you can critically think about how you're going to do this problem. Everybody's got a good start. So everybody started right. They're like, okay, I've got three positive ones, and I need to subtract five. What does subtracting mean? Adding in or taking away? So how do I take away a positive five when I only have three there? How do I take it away? By not almost, not negatives, because if I add a negative in here, we have 3 minus 1. We have a 3 minus 1. And what's 3 minus 1 equal? 2. What's 3 minus 5 equal? Negative 2. Right? 
So if I had three, how, what would you like to see in the picture right here? What would you like to see here so that you can take away five? What would you like to say? You'd like to see five. You'd like to see five up there. We only see three. I have three and I need to take away five positives or five negatives. Do I need to take away five positives or five negatives? Right? Because it says three, take away a five that's positive. So you'd like to see five positives up here. If I go like this and I add two more to make five positives, is this expression still the same as the original? No, it's not. So if I do one more thing, it would still be equivalent. It would still be equal to what we started with. And that's when you make zero pairs for any ones that you've added in that you want. I can add as many zero pairs as I want all the time because what's any number plus zero? It's going to still be that number. So you can put as many zero pairs as you want. So if I cover this up, it still says three. One, it still says one, two, three. These are zeros. Now I have three. Can I take away five positives? Yes, I can. And I know that some of you had this, but I don't think that you were actually, I think you were just setting it up and having a final answer. I'm not sure that you completely understood that you were supposed to add zero pairs in to leave negative two there. All right, type your answer in there and go to the next slide. Still have three more slides to do. Ooh, I like this one too. Set this one up. So I would add one more. Just one, one, row, please one zero pair. There, there's my zero pair. So if there were five, right, how many did I need to have so I could take away? I needed one more, and that's why I added a zero pair. I needed just one more negative, and I can't just put one negative up there. I've got to always put zeros up there. Okay, your homework is to do the next two slides for your homework. It's about absolute value. You can do it right now. Go ahead, put your answer in the box, and then you would upload this into Google Classroom when you're done the next two slides. It'll be in your drive, same as Cami. Students created statements about absolute values and opposites. Okay, we've been working with absolute value. We know what it, what's the opposite of five? Negative five. What's the opposite of negative seven? It says, which statement is true? You're going to drag the word true to the statement that is true. Darian says the absolute value of 25, what is the absolute value of 25? 25. He says the absolute value of 25 is, is larger than the absolute value of negative 25. What's the absolute value of negative 25? Is 25 greater than 25? No. Keep moving on until you find one that's true. And then drag the word true over near the letter. What's the opposite of 42? What's the opposite of 42? Negative 42. They said that that is larger than the opposite of negative 42. What's the opposite of negative 42? Is negative 42 larger than 42? No. Keep going. <laughs>